Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 without a license, legally. So you can actually do that, you don't need to buy a license in order to install Windows. I have Windows 10 here installed without a license. The only downside of this is that you won't get all the necessary updates and you won't get access to settings. But most of the settings are available here, your microphone and your game bar so you can still record games with Windows game bar and etc etc. First, open up Google Chrome. This works with Google Chrome. It doesn't want to work with Brave for some reason. Probably because Brave blocks uh, ads and cookies and stuff like that. But open Google Chrome and you just type in Windows 10 download. Just like that. And it should be here in the first options, between the first options, Windows 10 disk image ISO file on Microsoft.com. So make sure that it is in the original Microsoft.com website. So once you click on that, but once you click on it, this is the page that you will get. Now, in order to download, you need to download an instrument. For me right now, it this is shown in Romanian. Download an instrument, download help software. So you click on that. It's going to be a media creation tool. Once you've done that, you can just close from your browser you go navigate in your file browser to your downloads or whatever you downloaded this media creation tool you double click it should start up it will say getting a few things ready you need to wait for this a little bit now you can flash this iso file using this media creation tool directly onto a data holder like a flash drive usb stick external hard drive but what i'm going to do instead is show you a way that you can have multiple operating systems installers on a single flash drive single usb stick using ventoy now this video is not sponsored by any of these products it's not sponsored by microsoft not sponsored by ventoy or any of the software i am using in this video i just want to point that out installing one installer on a usb stick these days it just occupies it formats and occupies all the space on the usb stick not the best solution so the next option you want to click is create installation media flash usb drive or dvd or iso for another PC. You click next. You can deselect this and change the language here if you want. You deselect this checkbox. If you have a 32-bit CPU, which I doubt you have these days, but if you have a 32-bit CPU, then you can select that or you can select an image file for both. I'm just gonna leave it at default. You click on next and instead of saying USB flash drive, I'm just gonna say ISO file. This will download Windows 10 ISO file. So this is all legal. I'm downloading it from Microsoft. You can do this legally. You click on next. Then you select where to save this ISO file. So an ISO file is a package. It's called an image file. It contains all the installer files for Windows 10. And we are going to copy that on this USB stick drive using Ventoy. First, we will need to install Ventoy before we do that. Select the path where you want to download. I'm just going to create a new folder here. I already have a folder created here, Ventoy but it is empty so I'm just gonna say Windows I will use underscores 10 install and I'm gonna go in click on save and it will probably download Windows 10 ISO file now before we continue with anything I just want to point out whatever you have on your USB flash drive or USB stick or wherever you want to copy this image file this Windows 10 installer on all the data will be deleted everything all the images music files you have on this USB flash drive will be deleted make sure that you save everything from your USB flash drive, USB stick or external hard drive and then continue installing Ventoy which I'm going to show you because when you install Ventoy it is going to format your USB flash drive so make sure you save everything before you continue. This is the message box that will appear when your installation ISO, your installation image is finished so you just can click finish setup is cleaning up before it closes and now you just check what you downloaded so if you have where did it, we save this oh yeah documents windows 10 and insta and we have this image that looks like a rar file but if i go into the properties this is a dot iso file it's an image file now we don't really care about this for now we want to install ventoy ventoy is a tool i'm going to show you i'm going to use brave browser but you can use the browser of your choice you can continue with google chrome if you start 
started with Google Chrome, you don't need to use Brave. But just type in Ventoy into your search engine and it should be the first option right here. You just click on it. Ventoy is an open source tool to create bootable USB drive for ISO and all these files. You don't need to format the disk over and over. Basically what this tool Ventoy is allowing you to do is take this file that we downloaded, this file, and I just copy it and paste it into my flash drive after I installed Ventoy on my USB flash drive. In order to do that, go to this section downloads. Then we have a Windows zip, a Linux and a live CD. You need the Windows zip. Just click on it. It will open GitHub. Now don't be uh, afraid of this. You just scroll down a little bit and you have these option assets. If you accidentally close it by clicking, you just click again and it will open up. Ventoy 1.0.81. This is the version I'm using at the moment of this recording. You just click on this and it should prompt you to download. You save it. Saves as zip. Now you can open this with uh, WinRAR if you want or you can use 7-zip. I'm going to use 7-zip. You don't actually need to open it. You just need to extract it into a folder. Documents and I created this folder here. Ventoy. If I go into downloads, that's where I downloaded my Ventoy. Now before we continue extracting this file, we need to check this code. The SHA256 code. I have a page bookmark here. I will link it down in the description box below this video. Here you can find information SHA256 code, the hash code for this downloaded zip file. The way you can do that, come here to your search in Windows 10. You just type in CMD search for a command prompt. Now don't be afraid, this is going to be really easy. You right click on command prompt, right click, run as administrator. We need to navigate where this file is. To navigate you press CD, C, Windows and System32. We need to get out of this directory. So you press CD dot dot. We go back to Windows, CD dot dot again to go back to your hard drive. And then we can use tier to list all the directories. What I want to find is users, you see, we have users here. So we need to navigate there. So you go CD users. Once you're there, you press tier again. I have my username there. So type in the folder name and just hit enter and it will go into that folder. Type in dir again, documents here and downloads. Now we have to navigate to downloads because that's where the zip file is. I'm typing a few letters from the folder I'm trying to navigate to. I'm pressing tab on my keyboard and it just completes the folder name out for me. And then I hit enter. Now we are in the downloads folder. I press dir again to list all the files that are inside here. And I have to find Ventoy zip. It's right here. We need to check for SHA256 hash code for Ventoy Windows zip. These are the hash codes. What we need to check, the zip file that we downloaded has the same hash code as the code listed on the original Ventoy website using command prompt. And you see, if I want to check for the SHA256 right here, I need to type this in. You don't need to type in the C double dot blah blah. You only need to type in this. But instead of the file dot image, you're going to type the name of the file we are checking, which is Ventoy blah 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 Windows dot zip. See users your username and wherever you downloaded this zip file, you navigate there using command prompt. I just showed you how to do that and you type in cert util. Make sure that large letters, small letters matter inside command prompt. Then press space, a minus, hash file, space again, and you start typing the name of this zip file, Ventoy. I just type Ven and I press tab on my keyboard and it automatically completes out. And after that, we need to type this SHA256. Make sure that you type SHA with large caps. S H A 256 and we press enter. The hash code is this large number, which makes no sense. But if I select it here in command prompt and press control, it is copied to my clipboard. If I go into notepad, you can just type in note here in the search next to your start menu. Notepad should appear. Open notepad, press and hold control, press V and then press enter to go below this number. Then you go back to the download Vento page here. You select this number here, this long SH for the Windows. Vento Windows SAG256 number. You press Ctrl C again. You copy this or you can just right click and copy and you press Ctrl V or you can just right click and paste. The reason I did this is this is from the file I downloaded and this is from the website. This is the zip 
file and this is from website. If I put these numbers exactly under each other, they should match. If yours does not match, the zip file hash number doesn't match the website number, then do not continue. Download your zip file again and make sure that you go back where I start command prompt and list the hash code for your zip file again. Do not continue if this number doesn't match this number because then it means that the zip file you downloaded might be corrupted, might contain a virus. These two numbers match then you can continue now we do not need to save this just don't save you can get out of command prompt just close it and we can get out of our browser too now we have this windows zip file you need to extract this so you can use winrar i'm using 7zip and just select extract files and i press these three dots navigate to my empty ventoy folder press ok press ok here again and if i navigate to my documents and ventoy i have ventoy extracted here i just have to click a few times and we have this ventoy to disk.exe file i have my usb flash drive make sure you have your usb flash drive at again make sure that you save everything from that flash drive before you continue because this process that I'm showing you is going to delete everything off of your flash drive your USB stick or your external hard drive okay once you saved everything off your flash drive plug it into your computer you double click where Ventoy to disk my USB flash drive is selected yours will have a different name if you don't see anything here you can press refresh here this is a refresh button so that the option appears Vento in package that means this is what is going to be installed onto your flash drive so if you press install it prompts you that warning the device will be formatted and all the data will be lost so this is what I told you save everything off of your flash drive before you continue once you saved everything you can press yes here the device will be formatted all the data will be lost. This is a double check again because everything will be deleted. So I'm just pressing yes. And now it's creating my flash drive. Installing Vento. And congratulations, Vento has been successfully installed to the device. You press OK. You can even update using this. If a new version of Ventoy gets released, you can plug your USB drive into your PC and you just come back here, double click Ventoy to disk, and then you can just select your USB drive here and press update. And it will automatically update your Ventoy to the latest version. I'm going to navigate where I downloaded my Windows 10 install. Now make sure that you don't copy Windows 10 install with the folder. You go in the folder and you only copy the image file so you right click the image file of windows 10 installer copy and then you navigate to your usb drive here which is called ventoy at this point and i'm just going to paste my windows installer in here now you see that's like four point around 4.5 gigs of space so make sure that you use a usb drive that has more space than that Windows installation is on our USB drive. So I didn't have to extract anything. You don't need to extract it. You just copy it, paste it onto your USB drive after you installed Ventoy, of course. Now, just for the sake of this video, and just to show you that you can actually have multiple installers on one USB flash drive using Ventoy, I'm going to go into my browser and I'm just going to type Manjaro. If I go into original Manjaro page here, this is a Linux based operating system. Manjaro is an Arch Linux based operating system. And if I press download here, okay, we have Plasma Desktop. That is going to be good. I actually have Manjaro installed in dual boot on my PC as we speak. So I have it dual boot with Windows 10. I'm just going to use a minimal one for the sake of this video. And I'm downloading the image file. So I'm doing this just to show you, you can actually have multiple operating system installers on one data holder one usb flash drive usb stick or external hard drive so i'm just gonna say manjaro let's go in that let's save and you see this is going to be an iso file just like the windows one and what i'm going to do with this is i don't need balena etcher or rufus to flash my usb drive and i can only have one operating system or one operating system installer on my data holder on my usb drive i can have multiple and i can select it from an option i'm going to show you how that looks like after i'm finished with this so i'm not going to install manjaro in this video don't get confused you don't need to do this i'm 
just showing you that this is how easy it is to download the Linux package. I am also going to check for the SHA using the command prompt again before I continue. SHA1. Okay, I need this. So what I need to do, call my command prompt again. This is gonna be like an extra video. CD SHA1. Yeah, I'm doing this just to avoid any problems. Jaro.iso. And I'm not writing anything at the end because I need the SHA1 signature. Top one is a command prompt one, below one is the one I downloaded from the website, just like with the Windows ISO. Manjaro, and I am copying the Manjaro ISO. The reason I'm doing this again is just to show you that you can have multiple operating system installers, both on one data holder, as many as the data holder can hold. So I have a 32 gig, that means I can put a couple more ISOs here, but I'm not going to do that now. Both of them will be bootable. After this is finished, I'm going to go into my bio settings i will show you how to do that unfortunately i cannot use my screen recorder i will have to use my phone in order to record it's the only way i can show you how to use ventoy if you just copy and paste these operating system image files or iso files onto your flash drive without installing ventoy first you will not be able to boot them up you will not be able to start them now I have a Windows 10 installer and a Manjaro installer, which is a Linux based operating system, both on my Ventoy USB drive. Before you continue, make sure that you save everything from your PC document file, everything, your games, everything you have from your PC to your external hard drive, because installing Windows this way will delete everything off from your hard drive or from your PC. I need to turn my PC off because I need to go into my BIOS settings. So I see you there. So as you can see, my PC is turned off right now. This is what I created, both Manjaro and the Windows installer. I'm gonna plug it into my USB 3. In order to boot this USB up, you need to go into your BIOS settings. So I'm just gonna turn my PC on. You will get a message like that, but press delete or F2 to enter BIOS settings. If I pr start pressing the button that it's telling me, it will go into my BIOS settings. Now, you won't get this because my BIOS settings protected by a admin password and here we are in my bios settings your bios will probably look different than mine this is uefi bios you probably have a legacy bios that doesn't have a mouse maybe you will have to navigate with the arrows on your keyboard the reason you need to do this is because you need to tell your pc to start from the usb stick that we created i need to tell my pc to boot it up from that stick not from my hard drive if i scroll down here and come to these options boot option one one, two, three. Boot option one means first option that will be booted whenever you start your PC. Right now, my hard drive is selected. I need to select my USB drive and my USB drive name is SanDisk. The reason I'm not selecting UEFI is because you need to use legacy settings instead of UEFI. I would just go to the option where Windows is about to be installed and then leave you with the installation process because basically from that point on you just have to press the next and Windows 10 will get installed from this USB drive. I selected boot option 3 for some reason. I made it an error so I need to select this. First boot option, make sure that is the first thing that is going to start whenever you start your PC and make sure that you select your USB drive. And after this, you go into exit and save changes. You need to save the changes. Save changes and reset. And now it should boot up Ventoy. And there we go. Ventoy is booted up. We have our Manjaro Linux installer and the Windows installer. I am navigating with my up and down arrow keys. Install Windows, so I'm just gonna go into Windows. I'm just gonna select the first option. Normal is always the best one. Windows 10 installer will ask for a license key, but you can select an option. There will be an option that will say, I don't have a license key, and you just click on that option and you will be able to install Windows 10 without a license key. English, United States, US, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna play next. You press install now. You wait for setup is starting. This is where it asks for your license key. You see? And I have an option down here. You see that? It says I don't have a product key. Click on that. 
and you can basically just continue with your installation here before you continue save everything from your PC all your files everything from your PC will be deleted if you continue with this process so make sure that everything from your PC is saved to an external hard drive flash drive or something before you continue because everything from your PC will be deleted so I'm just gonna leave it at Windows 10 home but we have a lot of options we have Windows 10 education pro and everything you can just go with next this is the license and agreement you just scroll down you need to accept that you hit next you have an upgrade install upgrades the windows you have already installed and then your partitions appear here and this is where I'm not going to continue this is where you have to select your partition or select your hard drive on which Windows is going to be installed but once you select that and you hit next everything from that hard drive will be deleted so that is why I told you multiple times in this video make sure that everything is saved I'm not going to press next because then my files will be deleted but you press next or automatically format that drive for you format the partition that you want to install Install Windows on it will start installing Windows and you will have free Windows 10 well probably not get all the updates but it will work it will still work you will still be able to use it so if you like this video please leave a like share comment subscribe check out the links down in the description box below there's an option there there's a PayPal link where you can donate to me if you want to and I see you in the next episode